How to install Steam on a Chromebook. Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Chromebook tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Steam on your Chromebook. So if you're looking to have Steam maybe for messaging or to play some of the games on your Chromebook, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to do that. Before we get started, there's a couple requirements in order to be able to do this. The first is we have to be able to enable the Linux environment on our Chromebook. So we'll be going through those steps first. If you have a 64-bit Chromebook, there's going to be a couple other steps that will be required of you in order to get Steam to work. Maybe if you try this before, you've seen an error related to 32-bit. We'll go through and fix that. If you already have Linux turned on or you have a 32-bit machine, you can check the chapters below to skip ahead. All right, so to get started, the first thing we need to do is turn on the Linux environment on our Chromebook. And we can easily do that by going down, selecting the clock in the bottom right. Then in the menu that comes up, select the gear for settings. Once the settings open, go to the top and search Linux, L-I-N-U-X, select the first option, and then you'll see Linux development environment. Now, if you do not see the Linux development environment in here, that means that your Chromebook is probably not compatible with Steam, so you will not be able to install it using this method. Go ahead and turn it on if you're not already turned it on. Select next, and then install. So it's gonna go through the process of installing Linux. This may take a couple minutes for it to do that. While it's doing that, open the Chrome browser on your Chromebook, and we're going to go to steampower.com. That is the official website for Steam. You can check the description. I'll have all the links I discussed down there, as well as a detailed write-up. Once you get to steampower.com, go open on the top right where it says install Steam. And over here where it says install Steam, it'll say also available on. You just want to go to the one that's right to the right of Apple. So that will be the Linux version. Go ahead and select that and then save the file. It's a very small download, so it shouldn't take long. All right, once the Linux installation screen closes and you see this black terminal that says Penguin, that means Linux is done installing on your Chromebook. We are ready to go ahead and install Steam on our Chromebook. So you can close the terminal. Then you just wanna open up the file manager, find that file that we downloaded from Steam. So it binds under the downloads area. And then it's going to be right here. First, select that file, then right click it, and you should see install with Linux. Go ahead and do that. Select install with Linux. It's going to load some details, and then you just need to select install. You'll then see the installation process in the bottom right of your screen. Once the installation is complete, you'll see where it says the app is available in your terminal, and you can also use the launcher. So you have two options here. You can open Steam by selecting launch right here. Or you can go down to the launcher in the bottom left and find it in the launcher and select it. So that's what I'm going to do. Select Steam. Then open up a terminal. You should see update Steam runtime environment. And then it will go through an installation and update process with Steam. So now we have Steam installed. If you have a 32-bit machine, then Steam should open with no issue at all and you can start enjoying it. But if when you open up Steam, you get an error where it says you are missing the following 32-bit libraries, then that's because you have a 64-bit Chromebook. And we need to do a couple other steps to actually get this to work. So the first thing we need to do is just close this error, close the terminal, and go ahead and reboot your Chromebook. So go ahead and turn it off and then turn it on again. All right, so now that we've rebooted our Chromebook, there's just a couple things that we need to do in order to get Steam to work on our Chromebook. So to get started, we need to go down to the launcher down here and open up the terminal so that we can enter four commands that hopefully get Steam working on our 64-bit Chromebook. And these commands will be down in the description, so you can copy those down there and just paste them in. And we're just gonna be doing all four of these in order. The first one is sudo app update, paste that in. Then the second one down here, All right, then the third one, sudo app upgrade. And that one may take more time for you. I've already ran this one. You may be prompted to hit yes or no to install the upgrades. Go ahead and hit yes when you run that. And then finally, we have the last one. Paste that in, hit enter. And with this one, you now just want to hit Y on your keyboard and then hit enter and it'll go through and it'll install that.
All right, once it gets to the bottom and it says penguin again, that means we're good. We can close the terminal. You can select leave. Once we've closed the terminal, we can now open up Steam again. And this time it should open. You'll see updating Steam and it's going to download the update to your Chromebook. And once you select Steam for the first time, it may take maybe 30 seconds for it to actually start loading. The first time you run Steam, it may open several terminals and do several different loading screens like this. All right, so after a few minutes, we get prompted with Steam where we can actually log into our account. So I'll go through that process. Select login. If you have two-factor, you'll have to go through that. And then Steam will open for you. You can start using it and enjoying it on your Chromebook. All right, so that's how you install Steam on a Chromebook. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Chromebook tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.